What's out there is a mystery. Probably strangulation. Hey everyone, and welcome to Murder by Numbers. So, in the last video, we encountered a dead body of one Mr. Dick Stanford. Um, we don't know who is the... Well, we don't know who is the culprit yet, but we also don't know who is the suspect yet. The police haven't arrived yet, as far as I know. We had a conversation, or several conversations, I should say, with Mr. Ryan, our ex-husband. And I trust him as far as I can throw him, which is not far at all. We also saw marks on the victim's neck, which suggests strongly that it's strangulation. But I also, I keep in the back of my head the possibility that it could also be poison with the whiskey or vodka or whatever. Some kind of alcoholic beverage that he had with him in a flask and there was also a bottle like spilled on the floor. So I, I, I keep thinking maybe it could be poison and that he was strangled afterwards. But I don't know what that would look like if he would have marks or not. Also, there's something about a turtleneck. He's wearing a turtleneck. So I don't know how that would work with the marks on his neck because the marks on his neck are underneath the turtleneck. So lots of mysteries. So let's just jump right into it and try to solve some. Yep, we are here with Ryan. Uh, I think we need to question him. No, we don't. Maybe present some evidence. Let's see what happens. Oh, ooh. Is that a picture of your dad? I wish I could have met him. I wish you'd met him too. Maybe you could have warned me not to marry you in the first place. Oof! Hey, it was your mom who set us up. That's... an interesting factoid. She... Hmm. She seemed not super okay with our career choice but then she set us up with someone who landed us this job in the first place that seems kind of questionable your family loves me Oof. they didn't have to live with you yeah they probably loved your appearance not who you actually are underneath all that way too hotness A bow tie you know i don't wear those things no, you've got too much cleavage going on to rock the uh, bow tie. You're super right. An acceptance speech. You didn't seriously think you were going to win Best Actress, did you? It's not my speech. It was Becky's. Ouch. I guess money really can't buy everything. Man. So, Becky seems bitter towards him, but he also seems bitter towards her. So, that that's fun. Ugh. And whiskey? You know I hate that stuff. It's interesting how he always says, you know that, you know that I, you know that. So, he, th it sounds condescending to me. Like, man, you know that about me. It, it, I don't know, it, it sounds like you're talking down on someone, like you're calling me stupid. Mm. Know me like Ryan. Get that away from me, damn it, Honor. You know I can't stand the smell of whiskey. Why not? That's not... Probably because he's a raging alcoholic and whiskey is the trigger for him, maybe? The week before we got married, he got wasted and crashed his dad's yacht into the San Diego Pier. Oof. I don't know what was worse, broken arm or the three-day hangover. Thanks for reminding me. According to this magazine article, there were some kind of rumors going about around about Dick. Do you know anything about that? Nope. You know I keep out of all that showbiz drama. You probably shouldn't. Like I said last episode, you shouldn't keep out of that. But alright. That was about it for him. We had some funny ha-has, but now let's do some serious investigating. Do you think we could go back to the dressing room? Yeah, but nothing's going to happen here, right? Yeah, okay. So I guess we need to actually go maybe to the main hall. Yep, something's happening. All the people are gone. What if the killer got away? Not everyone. Bobby and Kathleen are over there. I guess the cops are focusing on anyone with a direct connection to Dick. Uh, I mean, I, I guess why they think that, but I don't think you should let any go. Uh, not without checking their alibi first, at least. 
Okay. Um, let's investigate first, and then we can talk about it with those people, maybe. It gave me the option to investigate, yet I can't find anything. Oh! There we go. Okay. Ooh. Difficult puzzle, but we can do this. Have we heard this song before? It, it rocks, is what I want to say. Oh, yeah, we've heard this song before. Man, all the music in the game is absolutely top-notch. I love it. Okay, I think that should almost be there. It has a lot of uh, a lot of black squares this time. But I feel like it should almost oops, be there. I thought it was almost there, but... Uh... Yeah, now it should almost be done. There we go. What is that? Wallet. Hmm. Would it be would it be Stanford's wallet? Someone must have dropped this without realizing. It's nice, real leather. That's not very nice, actually, but okay. I wonder who it belongs to. We should try to return it. There's no ID inside. Just small bills and a check stub for fifty thousand dollars. Okay, so a rich person. So basically everyone that was here. It was paid today. But I can't see who it was paid to. Just an account number. So maybe it was a hit on Mr. Stanford? And that's the money that got that, that the hitman got paid. So that would mean that the who the, the check was written out to is the hitman. So Maybe that would also mean that the owner of the wallet is the hitman. Can I assume from your facial expression that $50,000 is a lot? It's a hell of a lot. Maybe even enough to kill for, exactly. That's what I was thinking, yeah. You, kn oh. you know, I could be wrong, but... Oh no, I think Ryan used to have a wallet like this. Now, Ryan is not gonna be a hitman. Ryan is... If Ryan is evil in any way, he's going to be the mastermind. He's way too important to be a mere hitman here. Okay, let's question these people. Let's start with Bobby. What? Oh, it's you. Sorry. This whole thing with Dick has got me kind of bug. Is it true what the guys had up on stage? You trying to find a killer? I'm trying to find out what happened to Dick. Just like you did back in your trip. What? Uh, okay, <laughs> English. What? Just like you did back at your TV studio. Damn, from playing a detective to being a real one. That's a wild career change. Uh, I'm not exactly a real detective. I'm just trying to help. Oh, for sure, that's cool. <laughs> Wait, you don't think I did it, do you? I'm not like that. Why would I throw my whole career away just to murder some old guy? You and Dig didn't get along. It's no secret that you and Dig didn't get along. And when you left our table during the ceremony, you said you were going to give him a piece of your mind. Oh, I completely blanked out on that, actually. That was just talk. Why would I pick a fight with Dick Stanford? If anything, he hated me for taking over his show. Oh, right, right. So, Backtalk, I think, was the show. So, Dick Stanford used to host that, but now Bobby hosts it, and... Stanford was not happy with it at all. I do remember that, yeah. Do you know if anyone else wanted to hurt him? Probably a long list. He acts nice in public, but in real life, he's got a reputation. Have you have you talked to, to Kathleen? She put up with his grumpy ass for years. Yep, I could sense that on stage. Or how about the chick who started screaming about how she should have won Best Actress? <laughs> Becky. Becky, much as I may dislike her, she's not a killer. Yeah, I agree. You sure about that? She looked crazy enough to do anything. Pretty cute though. I mean, people who don't know Becky as well as we do, I can see why you think that. Which is probably also why she will be a suspect. Maybe not the main suspect, but at least a suspect. Yeah, that, that's going to be interesting. Kathleen not get along with Dick? They seem kind of tense on stage. She had to work with Dick every day for almost 20 years. Forget tense. I'm surprised she's still sane. Maybe she's not. Mm -hmm. 
The girl who wanted to win Best Actress was Becky Call. She plays the lead in my show. In my show. That's that's an interesting way to put it on. <laughs> Murder mystery. I thought she looked familiar. She was pretty pissed about not getting that award. It was a big deal for her. I guess if anything could drive her to murder. Honor, come on, don't say that to him. People do crazy things sometimes. Make make mistakes in the heat of the moment. Doesn't make them a bad person. Is he talking about himself? <laughs> that that sounded ominous. Hey, are you friends with her? I'd love to get her number. <laughs> you basically declared her like a biatch of some kind, and now you're like, she's pretty cute. Can I have a number? <laughs> to get up, uh, right? I, I don't know if that's actually the reason, but it does sound like a sensible reason. T to get her on back talk, I mean. I bet she'd be a great guest. You took over back talk, right? Is that when your problems with Dick started? Yeah, and that asshole knows how to hold a grudge. I hadn't been on the air 10 minutes. He was already talking shit about me to the press. He's too flashy. He's ruined the show. Sure, we updated things a little, but come on, man, that set hadn't changed since 1979. Couldn't you just ignore him? Sure, but then the hate mail started coming in. He's got all these crazy fans. Maybe he did it himself. <laughs> that, he seems like the kind of person to write hate mail, like pretending to be a fan, but he actually has no fans, and <laughs> it's just him. My rain is crashed, man! They're already talking about cancelling the show! That's, that's, uh, you know, what the show seemed successful before he took over. So they wouldn't just cancel it. They would just try to to get Stanford back or something, right? It's interesting that they're talking about canceling the show. So they really don't want Stanford back. That's what I gather from that. So your TV career was threatened by Dick. Would you say that made you angry? <laughs> Leading question, Scout. Well, yeah, but, but I wouldn't kill the guy over it. Okay, let's see if he replies to any of this. It seems he's not going to... Oh, he is responding. Cool. This was supposed to be Becky's acceptance speech for best actress. Damn, that sucks. I wish I could help her out somehow. Okay. Someone spilled whiskey in Dick's dressing room. Do you know anything about that? Whiskey? It must have been his. He did not respond well to that. Maybe he saw it and like he got so scared of seeing someone get strangled and die that he knocked over his whiskey. We found handprints around Dick's neck. I don't think you should tell suspects this because he's a suspect as much as everyone else here actually. So I don't think you should divulge that information. Okay. Someone strangled him. What was that sound effect? Doesn't narrow it down much, does it? After all, everyone here has two hands. <laughs> oh my god. I guess. If he has this kind of humor back talk, I can see why it's plummeting. This is serious, Bobby. I know, I just get nervous, man. Not because I'm guilty or anything, just the whole situation. He, he just, I don't think he's done anything bad. He would, he, he would really surprise me if he flips to be evil. He, he just seems like an awkward kind of guy and I, I kind of like him for it. I dig his jacket a lot. I would love to have that jacket. Do you recognize this hit flask? Is, is it yours? Detectives always have them in the movies. Never seen one in real life before. That sounded a little bit more genuine, but I still... Th that didn't sound completely genuine, so it might be his. Have you read this Celeb Life article about Dick? No, seeing his photo on the front cover was enough to put me off. It says there were some rumors going around about Dick. Figures, a lot of my crew worked on the old show with him. From what I hear, it wasn't exactly easy to work with. Ah, yeah, so they... They either they they prefer canceling a successful show over returning the old host back. For that reason probably. Anything bad enough that someone might have wanted to kill him? Sorry, I don't remember. And the wallet. Okay, he doesn't know anything about that, so it's not his. Um let's talk to Kathleen, our leading lady, a lover. I hear you're investigating what happened to Dick. I wish you the best of luck. 
Hey, by the way, your co-host that you stood next to five minutes ago, Dick was strangled. I guess you've heard by now, Dick was strangled. Oh God, please, don't tell me anymore. I can hardly bear to think about it. Yeah, that that's rough. I'm sorry. How long did you and Dick work together on Backtalk? Oh, I thought she was the co-host of Just These Award Shows, but she was... Is she still part of Backtalk and Bobby just replaced uh, Stanford? So they are the new duo, I guess, like Kathleen and Bobby. That, that's an interesting combination. Oh, many years. I've heard people say it's hard to imagine there was a time before I was in the show. You weren't there from the start. I didn't join until the second season. They wanted someone who could attract more viewers. Huh. Interesting. The shifts in the outfits they tried to squeeze me into. Oh, oh girl, no. Oh, I hate that for you. You're, you're beautiful just the way you are. Like, when you're dressed like this, you're beautiful as well. Hardly more than swimsuit some days. That's terrible. It's television, but it stood my ground. I like to think I made a difference. I... For all I know, she could be the killer, but... She seems so genuine to me. Like, if this is an act, I have no people knowledge. How was your relationship with Dick? Oh, we kind of just fine. Really? When we met him, when we met him, he was kind of an ass. It's Hollywood. Everyone has their problems, but I'm a professional, and people who complain get a reputation. Right. Right, she was fearing for her job, so she just put up with everything. Uh, besides, no one wants to hear about backstage drama. They'd rather just relax and enjoy the show. Although, I don't think anyone was expecting the show they saw tonight. Do you know Ryan Blackstock? He was on stage earlier. Blackstock is his name, huh? That sounds like an evil name if I've ever heard one, but alright. You mean tall, blonde, and handsome? I was wondering who that was. That's, that's an accurate description. On surface level, I guess. How do you think? I saw him with Dick earlier today. They were getting lunch at Dylan's on Fairfax. Huh. Ryan! I, I've got my eye on you. Lunch? Why would Ryan be getting lunch with Dick Stanford? I mean, it seems like Ryan's got, got a bunch of connectors, so I, I'm not that surprised, but alright. Your guess is as good as mine. Whatever it was, it wasn't going very well. It seemed like they were arguing. I wish I could tell you more, but I was in a cab at the time. I only caught a glimpse. Okay. You don't think it could be related to what happened to Dick, do you? What do you know about Bobby Price? He's talented, but he's got big shoes to fill if he wants to keep hosting Backtalk. He doesn't seem to be much of a fan of Dick. He never saw eye to eye. I can imagine why, because Dick Stanford was a man who was really like grounded in the old times and Bobby is like a hip, fresh 90s boy. So I, I can see why their their interest and that kind of thing wouldn't align, yeah. Dick hated having a show taken away from him and Bobby hated working in Dick's shadow. Right, but he knew that when he accepted the job though. Uh, I, 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 the second part of his sentence I don't really get, because that's what he applied for. Hated it enough to kill Dick? Bobby is young, ambitious, and impulsive. More than that, I can say. I mean, fair, fair. It, yeah. I, I feel like that's that's an that's an honest reaction. Yeah. Let's see if she will reply to any of this. I was so pleased when I found out they wanted me to give Dick his award. I've been waiting for a moment like this for a long time. Now it's all over, and nothing will ever be the same again. Clip and bow tie? Dick used to hate those things. Yeah, we get it as much. Honey, isn't it? It can be so hard to remember these things while someone's alive, but after they are gone, even the smallest detail seems unforgettable. I, uh, unfortunately can't relate to that, yeah. Does this belong to Dick? I don't think so. But you saw what he was like on stage tonight, drunk as a sailor. If there are chance the hip flask belongs to anyone else, we should investigate every possibility. Well, it could be Bobby's. There we go. Yup, that's what I was thinking, yeah. I've heard he started drinking to cope with the stress. Ooh boy. 
The production team aren't happy. Imagine going through all the trouble of rebooting a talk show just for the new host to get carted off to rehab. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, I guess... Oh, I guess made a connection. What if... Dick Stanford wanted to kill Bobby and he knows that alcohol is Bobby's weakness so he poisoned the alcohol. But then something got like switched up the bottle and the hip flask or something and he drank the poisoned alcohol. Oh. That would make it involuntary suicide? <laughs> is that even a term? Have you seen this article about Dick in Celeb Life? Of course, Dick was very proud of his front page billing. I'm guessing he was less happy when he saw how the article ended. Something about rumors? We're still missing part of the article. Let me guess, the entire last page was torn out? Dick, that, uh, Dick did that to every copy he could get his hands on. Ah, that, that makes sense to me. He never could take criticism very long. Personally, I think it's good that these magazines do a little digging occasionally. Call it investigative journalism if you like. I think she is hoping that other people will find out how mistreated she is and how much of a dick dick is. So she doesn't have to like ruin her entire career by speaking out herself. I think she's hoping for that, yeah. So you think there's some truth to the rumors they printed? Can you tell us more about what they were? Ooh. Saved by the phone. Sorry, I'd love to talk, but I have to take this. Oh, she looks so good with the phone. Oh, I, I stand Kathleen a lot. I really hope she's not the killer. <laughs> okay, so... It's interesting that we can still talk to her. Oh. I've heard Dick was arguing with Ryan Blackstock earlier today. Do you know him? Know anything about that argument? Ryan who? Sorry, I don't know the guy. Okay. Makes sense to me oh she's back apparently you mentioned bobby price has a drinking problem he'll deny it i'm sure but i've heard plenty of stories a way to calm his nerves i suppose what do you think he's nervous about <laughs> there's a lot of things he could be nervous about to be honest oh the usual his performance his ratings dick giving him a hard time and now a murder too it's no wonder the poor kid has issues yeah yeah, I can, I can see why. Did I present everything? I don't think I have. Okay, let's try. Right, okay. I hadn't presented the wallet yet. So let's see what she says about that. Any idea whose wallet this might be? Sorry, I don't recognize it. Okay, thank you. Very good information. Great. Um, let's see how we are on time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call it quits here. Okay, sorry guys. Um, so this episode, we had a lot of exposure. Like, um, we got a lot of information. We don't know exactly how to place it yet. A few new theories have arose. It could be that Dick Stanford wanted to murder Bobby by poisoning him, but it got reversed back on him. That would be an interesting theory to me. Um, but also something with Ryan. Maybe Ryan is the one who switched it. Like he's the mastermind behind the scenes. So that would be very interesting. It could be that, that they figure this out, like, oh, uh, it got switched somehow, but they don't explain why we just take it for granted that it was switched in some way. And then later in other cases, we find out that Ryan was the one who switched it. And we, it could also be that we find out that um, totally it wasn't suicide, because that's what we assume now. But in later case that we find out that Ryan ordered a hit on Tully or something like that. Um, yeah, lots of interesting stuff happening and I can't wait to see where this will go next in the next episode. I hope you'll join me for that and thank you so much for watching this episode. See you in the next one. Doo -doo.